This experiment is called having fun with intermolecular forces. It started off with a teacher wanting to demonstrate that when you put a drop of water on a tile, the drop will try and stay together. If you put a drop of alcohol on a tile, the drop will spread out. Now it's pretty hard to see clear liquids on a white tile, so I decided to color the liquids. I've colored my water blue, just with food color, and I've chosen to use isopropanol because that seems to work better than um, ethanol. And I colored it with bromopharmol blue because food color doesn't dissolve too well in alcohol. The tile is squeaky clean. It's best to clean it just before you use it with detergent and then dry it. So after I colored my liquids, I started by putting some drops of water on there and it's expected they stay together. They're like staying together. Then I've got my alcohol colored red and I put that on the tile. And see what happens before I even put it on the tile. The water gets pushed across the tile. At first I thought maybe there was a breeze going through or the fan or the aircon did something. But it's actually the alcohol pushing the water along. And the water drops join. They're quite happy to join. If I put drops of alcohol around the edge water gets pushed back. Put some more water, some drops here. See how they try and get away from the alcohol. It's trying to push it back. Trying to push this one back. You can see, see how big the drops of alcohol spread out compared to the water. Now if I'm going to force the water together, eventually it will have to mix with the alcohol. So I'm trying to round it up. See, they all start to move and shake. I might have to close that gap. You can already see there is some mixing happening now where it goes green. It's really got nowhere to go. It's pushing in the last corner. The water is filling all the space that's left, but more and more of the alcohol and the bromopharmol blue move in and get that green color. Let's see if I try and make this a little bit larger. I'm still trying to hold together. And it's mixing again. I put a drop of water in the middle of the alcohol. It will mix, but you see how it tries to shrivel together. And here I'll put a drop of alcohol in the middle. As you can see, it's already pushing it. As soon as I go anywhere near it, it starts pushing the water away. Let's see what happens if I surround this one with more alcohol. Let's see if I can force it to mix. You can see it's quite a nice artwork. And it's really good fun. It tends to quiver and shake. Sometimes it does it really, really cool. You think it's stopped and then it starts moving again. And there's a nice bit of mixing. This one's still going. It looks like nothing's happening, but obviously there still is, because it still keeps shaking around. Put one there. And 
ones around this one too. And turn it into a nice flower shape. Force it to mix. Still going and it's still shaking. It's getting darker now. There's still something going on because I can still see it move. What happens if I use a drop of alcohol in the middle? Get some beautiful patterns. And the different colors when they mix. It's trying to sneak across now. If you leave it to dry in the end, you do get some really nice pictures. You just keep going and when you're done let it dry and you can always start again sometimes you get really pretty things happening other times it doesn't you see how it dries and how it goes red and then it comes back again and goes lighter And now we're trying to spread it out and get some really nice patterns over here. I'll just stand back and watch it for a while. Good luck trying to explain everything that's happening, but it's lots of fun and it's pretty. It's still quivering. <laughs> things happening over that end. 